Hey everyone, it's September 5th, 2017. God, it's been um, a long time since I've posted an update. Um, I've been meaning to, um, but then I've got interrupted and sidetracked by other stuff. Um, so I wanted to apologize and uh, well, welcome back. And uh, I'm going to try to um, update more regularly. I'm not going to promise it's going to be like daily or weekly, but um, I definitely want to make more of um, an effort. Um, because... You know, I have been going through a lot, but, uh, you know, it's important to, to carry on these uh, updates, I think. Um, so, um, one thing right off the bat, um, I just did a thing, funny thing. My hair was a total accident. Um, I really miss my hair. Um, my wonderful girlfriend, who I will talk about later, um, was trying to give me a haircut and there was a snafu with uh the clippers we were using so i said just buzz cut it and get rid of it um so anyway it grows back right so um yeah this is uh where my chest is at right now um i had um the surgery done what i think back in april end of march april somewhere in there um so you know i feel relatively um okay the scarring of course you know will reduce as we go along um the elephant ears really bother me um i can't afford revisions right now um because my insurance and most insurances won't cover revisions um my surgeon um the, you know the, the guy that performed um the surgery was willing to do the revisions at a nominal fee um, however, I have a diagnosis of sleep apnea, so that complicates things, um, and adds on thousands, um, because it needs to be done in a different, uh, facility, and, and so on. So, I'm kind of toying with the idea of going for another sleep study. Fingers crossed, maybe they can eradicate, um, the sleep apnea diagnosis. What would be helpful is if I drop some pounds, um, because that's often... You know, sleep apnea is often uh, related to your weight. But anyway, if I could get the sleep apnea diagnosis kind of erased, um, I'd probably have a better shot of saving up money somehow um, to have those revisions down the line. Um, the nipples, um, I'm not like really, I don't really care too much. I feel like this one looks a little weird. Um, there's like a little hole like right off to the side. I feel like it kind of... I don't know, didn't heal the, the correct way, but um, either way, um, the surgeon said that he could tattoo in the color if it doesn't improve, but they're nipples, and I don't really think that that's really a big deal. Um, I'm mostly just thankful that I don't have to bind anymore. Oh my god, thank god. So, I don't really care as much about, you know, the aesthetics. I mean, I I guess I do a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and I feel like I've seen some really botched surgeries, so I'll count my blessings for sure. Um, I highly recommend Dr. Kutz out of uh, Plastic in Hand in South Portland, Maine. Um, so moving on, I had a hysterectomy um, a couple of weeks ago um, with Jennifer Weiner-Smith from Central Maine Medical Center, OBGYN. Um, she was pretty wonderful. I would recommend her because she has a child that is um, male to female. Um, and she's just very sensitive to like the trans community overall. Um, I have heard good and bad things. I had only heard good things go when going to meet her. And I thought the first impression with the consultation went pretty well. She was a little nervous because I was like 30, almost turning 31. Because um, she felt that was still a little young. But I got a letter from my therapist, and that just kind of made her feel a little bit better, um, knowing that I have a support system behind me. Um, but, uh, you know, we talked about everything that would happen. Um, she was very open to any questions, that sort of thing. Um, and then the process was really quick. They could have booked me, like, in a week or two after I met with her. But timing-wise, to get time off from work and such, I decided to, to put it off a little bit. Um, and so, um, the recovery for a laparoscopic, um, hysterectomy is about two weeks. Some people need longer, but, um, generally speaking, 
you know, people say they feel better within a few days. Um, I definitely uh, do recommend trying to take the two weeks if you're able to. Um, depending on what you do for work, you might be able to get away with taking just a week off. Um, you have to talk to your doctor and kind of, you know, work that out with your employer. Um, but it works out for me because I have a um, conference that I'm going to the end of this week. So um, I didn't have to use a lot of paid time off because I'm getting paid to go to the conference as part of my work uh, role. So um, it'll be good. I'll be going back to work um, on the 10th, this coming Sunday, technically. So um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the scars are very, very, very minimal. I actually think they're going to, like, you know, heal to nothing. Um, I don't think it's going to really leave any scars. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, there's three incisions, one through the belly button, and then one on the right, and then one on the left of the stomach. Um, and then it's, um, you know, they do the laparoscopic stuff. I won't get into all the gory details. Um, so, um... Yeah, uh, life is going uh, pretty well. I have an amazing girlfriend, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Her name is Mary Kate. Um, huh, I, I, uh, we met on Earth Day. We've been talking for a while uh, before that. We met online, um, and then I was having my top surgery, and I was chatting with her some via text and whatnot. Um, and then we, yeah, we met on Earth Day. Neither one of us knew if it was really a date. Um, but it turned into that pretty quickly. And, uh, oh, she hasn't been able to get rid of me since. Um, so we just recently, um, decided to move in together. So I packed up my apartment in, uh, Farmingdale that I had been at for quite some time. Um... I packed everything up and I moved out and uh, I moved in with Mary Kate at her place um, and of course my dog Sadie came with us and Mary Kate has three kitties Matilda, Phyllis, and Lily and um, they're all getting along really well um, so you know that that stuff is going well um, and I feel incredibly lucky, you know, having a supportive partner, you know, going through the hysterectomy, it was really nice having somebody right there when, you know, I woke up and was able to see her um, and hang on to her because the pain was, you know, pretty excruciating that first day, not gonna lie. Um, but I got through it um, and she happened to be on vacation, so she was able to spend quite a bit of time with me. Um, so let's see, um, my T-dose is, uh, the same as the last time I reported in, it's like 0.4 mLs, um, it's not a super high dose, but it seems to be where my, um, prescriber wants it at, she, um, said that maybe the hysterectomy, um, would help, um, so that maybe, you know, an increase won't be necessary, but I would like to go up a little bit. Um, well, we'll see, you know, how that plays out. Um, my PCP thinks that the hysterectomy might help me with my weight or with my sugar uh, levels because I kind of up and down with my, um, sugar. Um, facial hair wise, you can see this is pretty much all I've got. I mean, I've got a little bit of a stash, um, a little soul patch and then a little bit of, you know, strags straggly hairs um nothing has filled in um in like a beard format but i do have more hair that like grows on the surface um i haven't had to shave a lot and in a way that kind of makes me feel sad um i'm really excited for a lot of facial hair that i can actually shave and then you know um just have like a little bit of a shadow that would be great um my voice eh, up and down um I usually don't even have to think about it. I think that my voice overall has changed quite a bit, but I notice certain times of the day or if I'm really excited, it tends to go up. Um, 
So sometimes I'm a little more mindful of it, and then I can kind of control it more, where I can talk softer, slower, um, that sort of thing. But most of the time, it's just very natural, and I can feel more of masculine tone growing. I don't know how, how to explain that. Um, so I'm hopeful that my voice will definitely, um, you know, drop a little bit more, um, and that the hair will increase. I have noticed body hair, um, growth in other areas, like my stomach, definitely have hair there that was never there. Um, my butt is definitely a lot hairier, I know, really. Um, but people want to know these things sometimes, um, I'm sorry if you didn't, but, um... I definitely feel like a teenage boy, uh, or a boy going into my teenage years. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, and I'm really lucky to have a girlfriend that, you know, supports me and loves me and, um, you know, has really proven that gender isn't about, you know, the body parts that we're given. Um, she's very supportive of you know, what I have and, um, doesn't miss what I don't have. Um, you know, she identifies as a cisgendered heterosexual female, um, who's only dated, um, men. Um, and so like, I'm no different to her than any of the other guys she's dated. Um, so it is possible, you know, I, I never knew if I would be able to find um, this kind of girl that um, would love and accept me in this way. So it's it's a really awesome feeling, and um, you know, for me, it's awesome to not feel like I need to date um, lesbians um, anymore. Um, and I don't know how to say that in like a polite way, but it, it's just nice. Um, you know, everybody has different preferences, and some trans guys are fine with dating people that consider themselves lesbians, um, and that's perfectly fine. It's just not what made me happy. So, um, yeah. Um, there's a lot more that I could, uh, ramble on about, rattle off about. Um, uh, one other big piece before I go is that I got something in the mail today. I finally went to the probate court, um, here in Bath, and uh, uh, requested my name to be changed. Um, it was $117 for the filing fees, $60 for a birth certificate to be amended with the new name, um, and there'll be a hearing that I do not need to attend um, next month. Um, so it'll be published in the local newspaper a couple of times this month, and uh, hopefully I will have no snags with any of that, and uh, then I'll legally be Seth Stanton Adams. So that would be pretty cool. Um, that'll reduce a lot of the dysphoria that I have with surrounding my birth name. Um, anyway, guys, uh, take it easy, and uh, I'll hopefully uh, be catching up with you all again very, very soon. All right. Bye.